What's going on guys? Welcome back to Masculine Energy. In this video, I want to talk about when she tells you to date other people. So when she tells you that she wants you to date other people and to be with other people, you can guess why. It's usually because that's what they're doing. It's so, so let's let's jump back to where the source of that comes from. It really comes from guilt, right? She feels completely guilty because you're in love with her. You want to be with her. She knows this. Especially if you've begged and pleaded, she's going to be, feel even more guilty. And when, when she was with you, when you actually when she actually decided to break up with you and to leave you behind and to leave the relationship behind, she's got all that built up guilt. And while she's out playing the field and doing whatever she wants to do, she doesn't want to feel that guilt and that hurt and that all that stuff anymore. So what she does is she tells you to go out and do what she's doing, even though that's just how she feels in the moment. She feels like that right now. So when she actually goes out and experiences those things, then she comes back to you and thinks about you and where you're at. When she's done experiencing those things, she's going to think about you again. And she's going to regret saying that to you, 100%. So sometimes people are completely moved on and they don't care about you anymore. That's true. There's also the other side where people come back and they're like, yeah, you know what? I made a total mistake. So what I want you guys to understand is I don't want you to wait around for a woman that's that's literally telling you to go date other people. You should go and date other people if you feel comfortable doing that. You should move on and you should start working on your four pillars, health, wealth, personal development, and your social circle. When you work on those things, you're going to start attracting really good people in your life. You are what you attract, okay? If you, you know, if you have a very, very shitty mindset, you're going to attract other people that have shitty mindsets. And if you, if you really pay attention to what people always think, Thing, like say people that have really really shitty existences always blame other people they always you know they always say like oh my god why is this always happening to me why do bad things always happening happen to me bad things happen to people every day even people that do a lot of good things yeah you you might get a streak of bad luck you might get a streak of things bad things that happen to you but those same bad things happen to people that are getting shit done except their contrast is a lot better because when like me for example like bad things like never happen to me okay and if they do it's it's like okay cool it's a small thing when when i fill my life with things that i love and things that i'm aiming towards and working on what i end up doing is my mind keeps getting filled with all the good stuff that i'm working on and things that i'm doing right so when i work on those things and do those things it fills my mind up with positivity uh reinforcement that i'm that i'm doing well and when a bad thing happens you know, it's not such a, it's not such a big deal, but when bad things happen to people who don't do a lot, right? It seems like it's a, it's, it's a compound effect, right? And maybe it is because they're actually not, say one bad thing happens and they want to like get out of it, right? How are they going to get out of it? If they have, like, say it's a money problem. If it's a money problem, how are they going to get out of that if they're not making any money, right? So that's where that contrast comes in because they're, they're constantly fighting an uphill battle. Whereas somebody that's getting shit done and getting their finances handled and getting, you know, investing in assets and they're covering that pillar really well. Well, that problem that came up is not going to be such a big deal. So anyway, when that you, when you hear this stuff, like go date other people, I wouldn't just listen to that. Go and work on your pillars, go and work on the, the goals and the things that you've always wanted to do and definitely get back into your body, work, work out, and put really good food into your body because honestly, that changes everything. When you have energy, because look, when you go through a breakup, you're gonna have like a very, everything's gonna feel heavier. Everything's gonna feel like, like uh, you got a weight on your shoulders. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to wanna go and do things. So if you don't let, you know, don't let your body get in the way, then of course you're gonna do, you know, much better. So what I want you guys to do is just refocus on the things you can control. And that's gonna be my next video, okay? It's actually a stoic, thought a stoic thing it's a it's in the it's in um it's in the studies of stoicism and uh that's going to be one of the next videos so i'll get into that for you guys later but when you hear this just keep on keep it on okay don't get too distracted stay focused work on your pillars and uh keep it real done